Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. This is a life well spent. My name is Kelly and on this channel I'm documenting my financial journey. So we do a lot of different things on the channel. Um, a lot of it is just me giving my budget, giving my expenses. Um, I use my real numbers at the beginning of the month. I'll show you what my plan is. At the end of the month, I'll show you um, how I did. And then I do these weekly transactions and that's what this particular video is right here. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. This is a life well spent. My name is Kelly and on this channel I'm documenting my financial journey. Today's video is all about my week one transactions for the week of the first week of September 2024. Okay, so we'll get into it. So for those of you who have seen my videos before, you know that this is um, a thing that I do uh, or at least try to keep track of every week. Even if I don't do a video, I'm typically doing it um, on my own on the weekend. And I started to do it um, because I, well, initially when I was budgeting, um, I was using cash and I was taking care of, I just realized I don't have my watch on, so <laughs> um, I was taking care of uh, keeping track of all of those kind of things that I really struggled with overspending on with cash envelopes. And it was really easy to keep track of things in cash, right? If I give myself $40 a month for eating out, then and I look in my envelope and go, well, there's only $25 left, then I know that's all I have left to spend. Um, but when COVID hit, like, I stopped using cash. I was doing a lot of like contactless ordering and pickup and things like that. So then it got a lot more difficult, right? I didn't have any kind of anything that was sort of concrete. And if I was relying on my memory, I mean, there are times when like, if I didn't, if it takes me like two weeks to catch up because there's a lot of other stuff going on and I try to do a video of like something that happened two weeks before, if you've seen them, you, you know where it was because I have had moments where I'm like, I don't even remember what that was about. So, and that's from like one week to the next. Um, so it was definitely worse if I waited till the whole month was over to be like, I don't know what that is about. So anyway, um, and I also don't like, it's one thing to know, like, it's one thing to know that I'm getting close to the limit of that particular budget category and then make a conscious decision to go over it because of X, Y, Z. I would rather that then think, oh my God, I have like $30 left still in that. So I can totally go here and find out that like, oh, actually I'm way over. And I just didn't know. Um, that kind of stuff bothers me um, at the end, right? At the end of the month, I'm like, oh my God, I was way over on that category. And I didn't even realize it. Like, man, I shouldn't have like bought that thing. I should have waited or should have this or that or whatever. Um, so yeah, like that kind of bothers me. But there are times when I'm like, well, I know I'm kind of at the max, for my miscellaneous, but, um, you know, I really need to replace this item that broke or whatever. So I'm making a conscious decision to move forward. And I always feel better about that afterwards, right? Like there's less guilt, no shame. Um, yeah. So, uh, or even if like, I'm mad at myself because I didn't prepare ahead of time, right? Especially with food. Like if I, my blood sugar gets really low. I can get a migraine and it will like throw my whole day. And I really, really try to avoid that. So if I'm like this past weekend, I was out running a bunch of errands. Um, I had breakfast out because I didn't have a lot of here for breakfast and I had money on a gift card. So I was like, okay, I can use something for the gift card. So I'm not really cutting into like my year or my monthly, you know, normal income for this. And, um, yeah. I stayed out way longer than I anticipated. And I was getting to the point where I was like, crap, like I'm going to have to just make the decision to eat something here or not. But it was easy to be able to pull up my budget and be like, yep, I've got some wiggle room. Or even if I didn't have wiggle room to say like, well, I would rather overspend here and cut back in another category right now than deal with like the migraine that's coming if I don't eat something now, you know? Um, it ended up not being that way. Like I ended up kind of being finished and I was like, okay, I think I can make it home. And so I did, but, um, anyway, all that to say, it's fine if you're overspending in categories at times, as long as you're being intentional about it, at least for me and it, the weekly transactions, um, you know, I usually do it on the weekend. I don't always film a video. I try to film a video, but sometimes things like get really crazy. Like next weekend, I'm hoping to go backpacking. So 
there might not be a video for week three. I might just kind of do it as part of a wrap up for the month because I'm pretty sure that by the time I get home, I unpack everything. I will be exhausted from my hike. And the last thing I want to do is film a video, but we'll see. We'll see where we're at. Okay. So expenses for the week. I did one for um, September 1st through the 7th. And for those of you who have seen it or you've been here before, you know that pretty much all of my bills come out in the first week of the month. All of my like automatic money transfers come out in the week of the month uh, or in the first week of the month. So after that, it's pretty much just food, gas, and random expenses. So I uh, went to Sam's Club, spent $35.87. That's pretty typical of me. I get like a pack of chicken that's pre-cooked. I get four or five, depending on what my week looks like, pre-made salad kits. Um, I do that because I am trying to lose weight and I am, why is my mother calling me? Pause one second. Oh, okay. Well, that was interesting. Um, my mom typically texts me and the fact that she called me, I was like, well, that's never good news. So my, uh, my cousin's father-in-law passed. So, um, she just, mm, he had not been well. Um, and we kind of knew it was just a matter of time. Um, and so it was finally time. And it was one of those situations where, as I understand it, um, it just, I think he had cancer or something and it was just kind of ravaging his body. And there was just, it was just, it's just a waiting game. And if you've ever experienced that, um, I did with my father, it's awful. It's just awful. There's, there's no, there's no other way to, to describe it. It is, it's just awful. And it's criminal, absolutely criminal how we treat our dying in this country. Um, my dad was in a similar situation. They like, it was just a matter of time. There was nothing that could be done to reverse the outcome. Um, and we, as a nation, do not allow, I think there are some states that do, but overall, as a nation, we do not allow our terminally ill to take their own peaceful exit ramp, right? They can't, you know, It's awful, but at times, like your best bet, knowing that like, while you're still somewhat functional and being like, well, there's no fixing this. And even if like you choose not to do um, treatment or something, then you're probably better off just like going out into the woods and taking care of things, right? Um, which is an awful thing. It's an awful thing. But we, we don't have any sort of doctor assisted end of life situation. And, and we should, we should. I expect that we probably will eventually because the boomers are gonna be, I mean, they're all aging into that where we're just going to, you're gonna deal with children and grandchildren of boomers just watching their loved ones suffer, just suffer. And it can drag on for weeks, it can drag on for months. And you should have the right in a civilized country to get your affairs in order if you can, to say the goodbyes that you need, but like knowing that there is no stopping the inevitable and that there is an actual like reason that it will come like, yeah, it is inevitable. We will all die at some point, but, um, you have a specific thing, right? You have a specific diagnosis that is untreatable. That is, you know, well, we've treated it as best we can. There's nothing more we can do that sort of thing. You should have the right to say like, okay, when I get to this stage, I want someone to just put me down, right? Like we treat our animals better than we treat our dying humans. So, um, yeah, we just, it's awful. But anyway, that's what she was calling about. And that's terrible. Um, so yeah, it's 
rough. Anyway, I don't even remember what I was talking about in terms of stuff. Um, oh, didn't even really get started. So with, um, I'm just going to actually probably, this is going to be a weird edit because I think I'm just going to cut out that whole rant. Um, what are we dealing with here? Sorry, that call really threw me. So uh, 3587 from Sam's. I have the... Oh, I can't, go, can't be late to work. I just realized. Um, I am buying like salad mixes and pre-cooked chicken because I'm also on a weight loss journey. And um, I have just decided that I would rather spend more money to have the pre-prepared stuff than spend my time and energy on it because it just wouldn't get done otherwise. It frees me up to be able to do other things and it's just a sacrifice I've made. Safe flight, $413.74. Had to replace my windshield because someone hit it with something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, given the size of the thing and like the location and the fact that like nobody was in front of me. So it's not like it got like kicked up into somebody's from somebody's tire. Like somebody threw something at my car as it was going past, but oh, well, four thirteen seventy four. I keep a thousand dollars on hand to be able to pay that stuff. So there it is. Um, the hospital, $90 and 27 cents. That's actually a bill from July, but they coded it wrong and they tried to charge me more. And I was like, mm, this is a well visit. Um, and those are free. I don't have to pay for those. So I had to fight with the hospital to get them to code it correctly. Um, I guess I talked about something that made the person looking through the notes triggering, you know, it, it triggered like a different thought for them. And I was like, I talked about chest pain because I was having this weird, like every once in a while I was getting this sharp pain, but like it was happening frequently enough that I was like, mm, feels like something's not right. Or not that it's not right, but like that feels more than just random. So Anyway, my talking about that made them think that that's why I was there. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I scheduled this appointment about two and a half minutes after the end of the last appointment. So no, it was a well visit. And the doctor asked me anything else you'd like to talk about. So anyway, got all that sorted. That amount is basically for the labs, which I knew some are, some were, would be covered and some would not be. So that's typical. Um, then I spent $80.38 at Sam's for more salads because I ate the ones from the week before. Um, and $17 for a two thing of body wash. Um, I'm getting really, really low at the, on the body wash that I had. And they currently have a sale. And um, I kind of looked up the price of one uh, because it is a goal of mine this year to not like buy extra stuff like that that I don't need. But, um, you know, I went to look up the price of one and the price of one was like close to $13. So I was like, well, 17 for two, like, that's just stupid not to buy that that way. So that's what I did. Um, but that will probably like, I, they'll probably last me the year. <laughs> um, $31 and 90 cents to, uh, sheets for gas. I tend to gas up around like a quarter or half a tank. If I can think about it at, well, half a tank in the winter, a quarter in the summer. Um, farmer's market, $9 and 17 cents. I forget what all I bought. I know I needed sugar. Um, just a couple of like random things that I didn't want to buy at Sam's like in bulk. I know I bought bananas because I, I can't buy bananas at Sam's club, but there's just too many of them. They'll go to waste. Jiffy lube. I spent $95 and 38 cents. One of the fun things you learn when you get your, oof, my alarm's going to go off here in a second. I get your windshield replaced in Pennsylvania anyway, um, if they pull off the inspection stickers, they say void on them. So basically they like cut it out of the glass and taped it off for me. But the guy was like, you need to get these replaced in like within like five days. So I did. Um, and I also needed to get my oil changed. Like the, the date had passed, but not the mileage because I just don't drive that much. Um, so yeah, I, uh, did all of that, got some discounts and some coupons and things like that, that actually brought the price down. So $95 and 38 cents. Um, I spent $8 and 22 cents at Walmart because I needed, um, my, I use air tags for like my keys and stuff like that. And the battery was getting low and had to be replaced. So I went to Walmart. I used my court funds gift card for that, which I finally remembered to use it. Cause I kept forgetting. And I'd go through my wallet and be like, crap, I need to spend this. Um, basically I, I had jury duty like last like May. And, um, they used to actually just write you a check and now they just give you a card and then they load the funds on the card. So I did that. Um, and I use that for it because I keep like the, it'll start 
it'll go start going away. They'll start like spending it for you. If not, um, it like they take a certain percentage out or whatever. So I'm like, I need to make sure I spend this. And I always forget. So I was like, oh, for the batteries, definitely. Um, and then I also that morning, um, the morning of the 14th, I went to Duncan and I used the gift card on my Duncan because I didn't have a ton of food that was like really good for um, breakfast stuff. And I knew that I had like, at one point, I think I'm down to like 40 some dollars, but at one point I had like $60 in gift cards for my, uh, for Duncan. So I loaded them all in the app and then I was able to just order a breakfast sandwich for myself and kind of move on with life. So those are my expenses for the week up through the 14th. Um, I did not start super great yesterday. I've got two expenses already on the 15th. It was an expensive week. Not a lot of purchases overall, but um, fairly expensive ones. So, ah, well, it happens sometimes. Can't always control that. But anyway, that's it for my expenses for the second week of September. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.